Hi there, everyone. Good to see you back. In this module, we'll discover more about another Google-related traffic generation method that can be done at no cost whatsoever. This method is known as Search Engine Optimization, or in short, SEO. Now, what's SEO? SEO is the optimization process that helps one generate traffic from the organic or natural results of your search engines. Organic or natural results are unpaid search results that appear based on the relevance or hit of your search. These results are determined by Google's search algorithm to detect the site that is most optimized to their criteria and your search. The aim is to have your product or web page on the first page of Google search results or even better, the featured snippets. That would mean your page is successfully optimized to grab Google's attention and put them on top of their search list. The clicks that you received from users are all that matters. Their clicks are your traffic. These are the clicks that you would be receiving mostly if your search results were on the first page. According to research, 70% of Google users do not bother looking at the second page of their search results. If they can't find it on the first page, they would retype their search using more relevant keywords. The first thing you'll need to be familiarized with when it comes to SEO is on-site optimization. This is the process of ensuring that your own site achieves a certain recognition level by both search engines and your viewers. The approach is direct. All you need to do is optimize your site within your site itself. This is done by putting in the right keywords, phrases, categories, or even tags. Why? Well, Google will need to know the subject matter of your site in order to steer it to the right search results. Here's a couple of on-page SEO steps you can take. Page titles. Do include one of your target keywords or phrases so it's easier for searchers to identify that your results are relevant. Also, for your website page titles, try to keep it below about 70 characters. Position keywords towards the front of the title to lower the risk of it getting cut off on search engine result pages. Metadata description. This is the short paragraph of text placed in the HTML of a web page that describes its content. At times, Google will show users the contents of the meta description tag in the search snippet. Although meta description does not impact Google rankings, Google does use click-through rate, CTR, to determine whether your page is a good result. Limit your metadata description tag to 320 characters. It should be actionable in an active voice. It should match the content. It should contain the focus keyword. The metadata description should be unique. Content. The keywords in your content is used by Google as a ranking factor. However, use keywords naturally. Focus on what matters to your audience, not how many times you can include a keyword or keyword phrase in that content. While it's fine to use keywords in multiple locations on your site, don't overdo it or Google will demote your web pages in search results. Post longer and more quality content to boost visitors to dwell time on your website. Engaging images, videos, and diagrams can reduce bounce rate and increase dwell time, two crucial user interaction ranking factors. Images. Use original images. Reference source if using an existing one. Also, optimize the size of the images. The smaller the size in bytes of the image, the better. Make sure your target keyword is part of your image alt text. Use descriptive file names. Don't just name your image image1145.jpg, but try to use descriptive file names. For example, maneatinghotdog.jpg. Website URLs. Make URLs short and sweet. Not only that, but make sure to include target keyword in URL. Internal links. Internal links are hyperlinks on a web page to another page or resource on the same website or domain. Link two to three internal links in every post. Alternatively, link two to five older posts when you publish a new post. Outbound links. 
Outbound links are links that are going to direct you to another specific web page or website. This aids Google in figuring out your page's topic. It also shows Google that your page is the center for quality info. Social sharing buttons. Social sharing generates more views, and this means more people linking to your site. This gives you an indirect ranking boost. Google does not take social signals into account when ranking sites. Site speed. Page loading speed is an SEO ranking signal. You can boost your site speed by using a content delivery network, compressing images, and changing to faster hosting. You can check your site's loading speed with gtmetrics.com. Off-site SEO optimization is a process of ensuring that your site achieves the highest rank using external approaches. Simply put, it's not optimized within your site. You'll be needing other sites, multiple platforms to steer Google into your main site. The key to Google's attention is through links that lead to your site. You see, the more your links being shared on multiple pages, the more important your site will look to Google. Take a look at this image below. Your site is at the center and you have multiple sites sharing or linking your site in their site. Google will define this site, your site, as a presence of authority. The formula sounds simple, right? Not quite, because your real challenge would be how many other sites are actually linking your site, or do you have ample content that is reliable for users to consider linking it? Most times, the perception of a site's authority is regulated by the number of sites that are linking to it. To actually have your link appear on a bigger platform and recognized blogs will eventually steer your site to rank higher in Google's list. For example, you have a post regarding the art of publishing your book, so you want to use the off-site optimization by linking your main site to other platforms, other platforms being the social media network giants. You are generating views by linking your main site to these platforms, Doing so will allow a number of shares to be performed amongst the users of these platforms. Your links will be shared, your traffic will rise, and slowly, your site will be presented as an authoritative figure to Google.